Hi there, it's Hillary and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today I am thrilled to be unboxing the brand new Creative Faith kit. It is the first fall kit and it is so beautiful. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that comes in the kit. I'm going to be walking through the coordinating printable that is also beautiful and I'm just so excited for fall, so excited for a new season, and I'm actually going to be having two fall kits this year. So this is the first one, and if you stay tuned through the end of this video, I'm going to give a sneak peek of the next fall kit um, that we'll be releasing next month. So this is the 2022 Fall Creative Faith Gratitude and Prayer Journal, and it is very beautiful. I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. I have some really awesome pieces in here that are going to help you in your um, prayer journaling, your gratitude journaling, and it's just very, very exciting. So I'm going to walk through the different elements that come in the kit. Where should we start? I think we're going to start with my favorite thing, and it is a new Creative Faith notepad. It is a 4 by 6 notepad, and it is simply stunning. And I forgot to mention, <laughs> you can pick this kit up in my Etsy shop. I will have it linked in the description box below. So definitely go check it out, go pick it up. And I will not be restocking this kit once it sells out. And I'm anticipating it will probably go rather quickly. So definitely go pick one up. You can also get only the gratitude and prayer journal on Amazon and I'll have that link down below too. So this is the notepad. It comes with 50 sheets and I made it just say notes on it. So you could use this for prayer journaling. You could use it for Bible study notes. You could use it for writing out scripture. You could use it for writing out things you're thankful for. So it's a really great fall themed but generic notepad and you can glue it into your creative faith notebook you could put washi tape along the top and make it a tip in either up and down or side to side so very very excited about this last fall I released my first ever creative faith notepad and you guys loved it and I'm really excited to bring a new notepad to my shop in this kit and I just think it turned out really pretty so very excited about that the next thing I wanted to share is something you all have been asking me about so I often will use let's see if I can find it use this in my videos and my pictures and it holds open the creative a creative faith notebook or journal or planner so it's technically a music book holder but you just slide it on like this and it helps your pages stay open so you could journal paint stamp things like that and I get requests all the time from people asking me about these and so I thought how perfect would it be to put it in put one in this kit so it is a black color it is metal and I just thought it was a great neutral that will be perfect with this kit but also can use it for any journals so you get a metal book holder i thought this would be just really fun you could there's a little hole in it so you could totally add a fall ribbon fall fabric uh, you could add like a little ribbon with some charms at the end so you could definitely make it decorate it so you get one of those then you get a verse card. So I love 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It says, always rejoice, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus towards you. And this is so important. As I have walked on this faith journey with the Lord over and over again, I find just three core things. The first thing is reading God's word. The second thing is prayer and the third thing is gratitude and over and over again I've seen how those are so important, so core and essential in our walk with God and 
life is hard. <laughs> life is challenging. There are a lot of difficult things that we go through in our lives, but there are always things to be thankful for. And we need to keep our eyes open and peeled every day for those good things. Every day at the end of the day, my husband and I share what is at least one good thing of the day. Um, one good thing that happened, one good thing that we saw or ate or smelled or experienced. And there's always at least one good thing. And that is so perfect to end our day thinking about something that is pure and lovely and excellent and praiseworthy, as the Bible says in the book of Philippians. And so uh, gratitude is so important. Prayer is also so important. It is this beautiful tool that God has given us that we can cry out to him no matter what in every single season. And that is also so key because we are never alone. We always have the Lord with us. And so I love this verse about rejoicing always, praying without ceasing, never ever stop praying, and giving thanks in absolutely everything because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, right? God has us in each and every one of us in the season we're in for a reason, even if it's something challenging and hard. And so that is why prayer and gratitude journaling this next to reading the Bible are the most important things that we can do in our walk with him. So I have been creating seasonal prayer and gratitude journals for the past year. I have a Christmas one, I have a spring one, and I have a summer one, and I have a fall one that I did last year, and I made some updates to the one this year that I'm going to be telling you guys about too. But I just wanted to just encourage you the importance of prayer and gratitude journaling. So I love this verse card, printed on cardstock. This would be great to use as a bookmark. All right, next you get some washi tapes. I love including washi tape tags. You get around two feet of three different fall washi tapes. They're all gonna be kind of this orange color scheme. The next fall creative faith kit that I'll be releasing is more of like a orangey or a, more of a yellowy, browny, bluey color scheme. But this one is very much super orange and just beautiful fall colors. So really excited about that. These washi tags are great because when you're done with them, you can wrap more washi tape on them. This is how I store my washi tape for taking. I put some with in, in my craft bag or in a traveler's notebook. Um, so it's a really great way to store washi tape. When you get it, you could add more washi tape between it if you wanted. So, and when you're done with it, you could also use it as a bookmark. So, lots of great ways. I love, love, love using washi tape. Next, we have a pen and a glue stick. So, I try and equip you with everything you need besides a pair of scissors to journal. And it will all come in a cute pouch. I'm really excited about these pouches. So, two things that you'll need. You'll need a pen. And that's why I love this bright orange pen that kind of coordinates with the orangey theme and then a glue stick so you can glue in your verse card if you want or your notepad pages so glue stick is a really great tool to have these though you will not need to glue in <laughs> because these are all printed on white sticker paper so all you need to do is cut them out and it'll turn into stickers and so these are just some of the elements i went a little crazy i'll be sharing at the end of this video um the whole coordinating printable it's a big boy that i printed off these elements for you and so you have a little journal, a couple mugs. This mug is actually based off of a mug I made for my Society6 shop. I will link it down below. Maybe I'll try and insert a picture of it here. And I ordered one. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'm really excited to get it. And this is what it looks like. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. So I'm excited to have a mini version and a big version. And then you have a prayer and gratitude journal, which match their little mini versions. I thought that was cute. And this little note, in every season, God is always with me. I hope you remember that. So here's one of the little pages. Um, next, you have these little elements, some hearts, some stars, some plus signs. So these are great for decorating your pages inside. 
And if you email me with your Etsy order number, I will email you the coordinating printable. So you, please, you email me. <laughs> and sometimes my, sometimes it'll take me a few days to get back because I am a one woman show. <laughs> but also uh, check, be sure to check your junk mail because sometimes my creative faith emails end up there. And then lastly, I love this, no matter what you are going through, cling to prayer and gratitude. So again, just kind of my hope and prayer for this kit that you would cling to the Lord through prayer, through having an attitude of gratitude, and that is just going to help your walk with him. I love this pumpkin spice and prayer journaling with Jesus Christ. So we got our little prayer journal. We got our little mug full of pumpkin spice. And we're all set to spend some cozy time with the Lord this fall. And then I drew some really adorable mushrooms. You'll see them in the main printable. I scaled them down for this. And how cute are those going to be on the bottom of your pages? I am really excited to use those. You get a vinyl sticker. This was an image that I made and posted on my Instagram. And someone said, that needs to be a vinyl sticker. So I made a vinyl sticker to be included with this kit. These particular images are from my fall floral mugs that I really printable that I released last year. I'll have that linked down below, but you do get this whole set in the coordinating printable. But if you're wanting these two particular elements, that will be in the fall floral printable, mugs printable from last year. Everything is going to come in this really cool pouch. I found these and I thought they were just great. It would be very cute to add your vinyl sticker to the front. I thought that would be kind of a neat idea. You can put cut out your printables and put them in here. And I just loved these pouches. So again, it'll come like this all packaged up and since it's plastic if you spilled on it it shouldn't get the inside stuff uh, messed up so now I'm going to flip through the gratitude and prayer journal and I'm going to point out some differences in this year's versus last year's Okay, here we go. So here's a flip through of the journal itself. I, what I did was I added these glitter edgers. They are from the Planner Society. So this is a company and they sell these really pretty glitter edgers and I used them on my Christmas gratitude and prayer journal in this cute Christmas print and so I thought it would be fun to use the black and white polka dots to go along with this fall one. So I have it divided in because the front half is the gratitude journal, the second half is the prayer journal, and so you can see these divided it. And then in my old one what I did was I used some tabs and you do get tabs included in the printable. So anyways, just some kind of fun ideas on how to make this your own. You could also put like a ribbon trim around it if you wanted to, another kind of fun idea. And I will have this linked down below on Amazon if you wanted to check out, check this out from last year. So those are the covers. Here are the back covers. It's a little different design on them. And now we have the inside. And I made the floral printable black and white. And we have, this was a printable that I added on top versus here. That's all in the middle. Next in the new one, I added a spot for a prayer for your season. So you can start off your new project with a prayer. And then we have the gratitude journal. So you can see a little different design in the new one. And it comes with 60 plus gratitude journal prompt ideas, as well as an explanation about how to gratitude journal. And then something new in this one I'm so excited about. So this one just went right into the gratitude journal. But this one, you have a tracker as well as some prompts that you can cut out. 
how cool is that? Don't worry, I put dot grid pages on the back so you wouldn't be cutting into your actual journal. So you could rip this out and cut up these little prompts and put them underneath. How neat is that? So thank you God for the Bible. Thank you God for peace. Thank you God for opportunities to serve. Thank you God for change, for music, for health, for courage. So these are all prompts that you can use here. And I just thought that was really cool. And then I love trackers. Trackers are a helpful tool to keep us uh, accountable. And it's really neat to watch a tracker fill up. So here you have all these little hearts. There's 31 days of gratitude journaling. And there are 31 hearts. This does say 30, but there are 31. <laughs> and so you can color them in and watch as your gratitude journaling journey grows. And so then this is what the inside looks like. It says, thank you God for... And the last one had a spot for the date specifically, and it said today I am thankful for. So just a little bit of a different setup there. So then we go to the prayer journaling section. And again, the design is just a little bit different. I used a different verse, and you have this pretty floral design. You have 60 plus prayer prompt ideas, as well as instructions on how to prayer journal and sentence starters to help you begin. And then just like in the gratitude journal, you have 31 days of prayer journaling trackers, and then you have prompts that you can cut out. And the prompts for the prayer journaling section are slightly different than the gratitude journaling section. So like, for example, persecuted Christians. I'm not going to give thanks <laughs> for persecuted Christians, but I am definitely going to pray for them. So anyways, there's just a few different uh, prompts in the prayer section versus the gratitude section. So another example is time management. That's not something I'm going to give thanks for, but it's definitely something I'm going to be praying for. And then this is what the gratitude or the prayer journaling pages look like. Let's see if I have any empty ones. So this time it says, Heavenly Father, today I am praying for, and then in Jesus' name, amen. Versus last time it had a spot for the date and it said, Dear God, and in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So just a little bit different setup there. And then there is a spot in the back to write down answered prayers. And there was last year as well too. So that is what the journal looks like and just a few differences between the last year's version and this year's version. I really love the updates I made. I'm really excited about the trackers and the prompts that you can cut out and use. Now I am going to share the coordinating printable. So again, if you email me, if you purchase the kit and email me with your Etsy order number, I will email you this file back. And remember, after this, I'm going to give a sneak peek into the next Fall Creative Faith Kit. So we are almost done. This is the first page. I love these journals. I have blank versions, so you can write out your own things on here. You could write the date on here. You could write out your prayer requests or your gratitude. Same on the little mugs. So I love that. Then these are all the different prayer prompts. So, dear God, forgive me for, Heavenly Father, help me with, guide me in, thank you God, thy will be done in. So you can use all of these in your prayer journal or your gratitude journal, thank you God for. And here are some, a few different versions of the notepad. So if you wanted to write out a prayer or write out a gratitude list. I added a few kind of different headers. And then I love all these hearts. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. In every season, God is always with me. God hears every single prayer. Love that. Here are some more phrases as well as the cute mushrooms I mentioned. These are gonna be really adorable at the bottoms of our pages. And these are all phrases that are in the journal. 
You could also use these to create your own prayer and gratitude journal too. Next, we have a variety of verse cards. We have 1 Chronicles, 1 John, Philippians 4, 6, as well as a blank one. This would be really cute to print on cardstock at Thanksgiving and write out the names of people as like a cute name tag. Next, you have some, again, elements that are perfect for decorating your pages. So you got some stars, some circles, some little plus signs, some hexagons that are going to be adorable for decorating your pages. And some in this adorable plaid. And I love this one. No matter what you're going through, cling to prayer and gratitude. And then lastly, these are the tabs I was mentioning. So these would be great to print on cardstock and you can cut them out and use like I did in my journal from last year and label gratitude and prayer. I'm probably still going to use these and maybe put them at the top up here. thought that might be kind of a cool idea. So that is the new Creative Faith gratitude and prayer journaling kit. I'm so excited to get these in your hands. I think it is just going to be so great to spend the fall season crying out to the Lord in prayer as well as remembering things we have to be thankful for. I wanted to mention to you a few other resources. I have a whole fall printables and products blog post roundup. I'm going to link that below. It has everything organized. So I have it organized by physical products, printables from this year, printables from last year. I have a whole free printables section as well as some of my favorite fall uh, videos on YouTube. So full flip throughs of my old gratitude journals, some setup videos, things like that. That blog post is kind of a really great hub to, where you can see everything organized and it's just a really great resource because I have tons of other fall notebooks, plain fall notebooks. I have a fall guided journal with some cool prompts in it. I also have like some brown floral printables, brown mugs. I have my cute... Uh, pausing for his peace prayer notepad. I still have some of these as well as those kits. So just lots of other beautiful fall resources that are going to be really great for this season too. So definitely go check out that blog post roundup. And then the last resource I wanted to mention is my gratitude journaling online course. So I have a whole course about gratitude journaling. I share tons more ideas, inspiration. There's coordinating printables that come in it. It is an amazing class. A lot of you guys pricked it up last year. If you have not finished it, now is a great time to dive back into that online class. And yeah, so definitely go check that out. It is a really great resource and encouragement. That is kind of my goal with everything I do here at Creative Faith, that it encourages you. All right, I am going to give a sneak peek of the next Creative Faith Kit. It is going to be so fun. It is an idea that I had last year, actually, and I was like, I'm going to save it and use it for this year. Um, it is not a gratitude or a prayer journal, so definitely want to pick this one up, but here's a quick little sneak peek. There you go <laughs> of what's coming next after this. So comment below if you're excited for fall, if you are going to pick up this kit and be sure you're a part of the Creative Faith Facebook community because every um, time I launch a new kit, I look back on the pictures of the previous kit and I draw a winner to get the new kit for free. So the last kit I launched was Sunshine and Jesus Time and I will go through all the pictures people posted in the Creative Faith Facebook group and I will draw a winner to get this kit for free. So if you want to get the next Creative Faith Kit for free, be sure you pick this one up and make sure you post your pictures in the Creative Faith Facebook community. It's a really great place for, again, encouragement and to um, see how different people are working through this kit. 
All right, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!